love iOS's new 3D touch feature, but aren't willing to sacrifice the flexibility of your Android device for it? Well, you're watching the right video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Android Guru here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 3D touch on your Android device for free. So without any further ado guys, let's get started. Alright, so for this tutorial you'll be needing root and once you have root and exposed installer installed, you'll be good to go. So the first thing you want to do is open up exposed installer and head over to the download section and from here you want to search something known as force touch detector. So we'll just go to the download section and type in force touch detector as you can see we have one right here. So after this you want to swipe to the right and go to the download section and download it. Now I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to cancel it up. But once you have it downloaded, you want to go over to the module section and from here you want to enable the force touch detector. So what you want to do is click on this check button right here as you can see. And once you've done with that, what you want to do is hold down your power button and click on reboot or restart. And once your device is restarted, you'll be good to go. After that, just open it up and go to the force touch section and switch the master switch to on. From here, you can take out the threshold and tap the first part just normally, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like that. Just, just normal, you know, tap the way to the screen. And the second one, you want to do it with force touch. Now, the important thing here is that you want to see the values on top and bottom. As you can see at the top it shows max 0.2241 and man minimum the below 12414. This means that my device is compatible. If it shows the same values then sorry your device is not compatible. But if it is just enter the same value in this threshold area as I'm entering right here. And then you can go to the long press section and align the force touch to anything. I'll just set it to lock screen for now. Now when we go back home and you can see I force touch the screen gets locked up and it works just perfectly. So we can see that you can see we'll try it once more and there you go you can see that the screen just worked perfectly it's extremely easy to do and uh, you know we all can believe the flexibility of our android devices for this once again you can also set it to different actions i'll just show you guys right now so what else you can do is you can assign it to tools you can assign it to an application to a shortcut or also to none in case you want to disable it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, anyways guys if you guys like this video and always you know like my videos and tutorials leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this is Anvavia signing out and I'll catch you guys next time peace